McQuillan Swanson Dental. McQuillan Swanson Dental of Mulberridge. Healthy smiles for life. Have you tried the new car wash bays at Oahe Car Wash in Mulberridge? If you haven't, now's the time. Winter weather driving on snow and ice is hard on your car's underside and outside. Choose from either one of our new car wash bays, soft touch or touch free. Your car will be washed underneath to get all of the salt and gravel from winter roads, then be washed and dried so you're ready to hit the road. There's even wax to protect your paint all winter. Maintain the value of your car with a car wash from Oahe Car Wash in Mulbridge. Welcome back to your final score once again, 50-37, and uh, it was Chamberlain with the win. I tell you what, this was a close game all the way through. The Lady Cubs took a one-point lead into the uh, first quarter break, 10-9, and then at halftime, the Lady Tigers had the lead, 23-20. After the third quarter, the Cubs went up 30-29, and it ended up 50-37. Let's take a look at scoring, first of all, for the Lady Cubs. Six points tonight for Treya Sitting Bear. Twelve points for Hannah Anderson. Twenty-four points tonight for Maddie Handel. But Maddie Handel went to the free throw line ten times and made eight of them. Uh, six points for Ivani Long and two points tonight for Case Ginn. The other side of the ball, it was uh, Hannah Strutter ended up with one point tonight. Uh, it was uh, Megan Zahn with 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points tonight. And uh, Tyrell Thompson ended up with uh, four threes in the ball game, 14, 16 points for her. Uh, the, the sad part about Tyrell's night is she had 16 points in the first half. She did not score in the second half. They figured out a way to shut her down. Landon Henderson tonight with uh, eight points, and she fouled out of the ball game. So we got to pick a uh, Merkel's Foods player of the game. We're going to take a break right now here for Merkel's Foods, and we'll pick our player of the game right after this message on Star 99. Hi, this is Brian and Kristen from Merkel's Foods in Mulbridge. Are you struggling to find time to do your grocery shopping? Shop all our aisles and weekly specials online at MerkelsFoodsOnline.com. Save time and skip the line. Shop online quickly for what you need today or load up your cart and check out at the end of the week. Then pay online, give us a time, and we will bring it out to the parking lot. We don't want you to miss a thing. Shop MerkelsFoodsOnline.com. Hey, welcome back here on our Merkel's Foods player of the game tonight. Well, even though Tyrell Thompson didn't have any points in the uh, second half, she kept this close with her three-point shooting. And so, Tyrell Thompson, congratulations. You're the Merkel's Foods player of the game. Tell you what, the boys are out on the floor warming up right now. We've got a couple of great interviews coming up. Why don't we take a three-minute timeout? We'll come back. We'll have our first interview right here. Boys up next, Star 99. Great Western Bank in Mulberge is providing a full range of financial services to its personal and business banking customers. Wherever you are in life, we have a wide range of products and services to help you along the way. From everyday banking needs to the financial tools to help you plan for tomorrow. We are always trying to find a better rate, better option, and a better solution for you. This is Misty Helm, branch manager at Great Western Bank in Mulberge, doing what it takes to make your life great. Great Western Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Kick off 2019 by kicking your high-cost TV bills. Cut the cable cord, dump the dish, and start streaming with WRT. Enjoy watching what you want, when you want, with WRT Wi-Fi. Get started with a $50 gift card for Sling TV, Netflix, or Hulu from WRT. Yours free when you sign up for WRT Wi-Fi, increase your speed, and drop your landline phone. Call WRT at 845-3100 to save money and stream in 2019. Isn't it great when things are even better than you expect? Like arriving late for the game to watch your favorite player, the stands are packed, and then finding your favorite seat is still open. Or how about filling your tank with top-tier detergent gasoline at Gas and Goodies with their brand new pumps. Cedic's top-tier detergent has two and a half times more detergent than regular fuel, so it cleans your engine as it runs for less buildup, less maintenance, and more worry-free miles to follow your team. Good luck, Mobridge Pollock from Cedic's Gas and Goodies in Mobridge. At McQuillan Swanson Dental, we understand. 
We understand the nervousness, the edginess, the fear that takes over. And that's why when you sit down in the chair, you can't have a better friend than the one you'll have at McQuillan Swanson Dental. Our dentists understand your apprehension. That's why you're their first concern for any dental procedure. Whether it's a simple cleaning or something as complex as a root canal, you can rest assured that our dentists will take every precaution to make sure you're as comfortable as you can be. McQuillan Swanson Dental of Mulbridge, your smile, our success. Winter weather is hard on your paint and underbody of your vehicle. At Oahe Car Wash in Mulbridge, we want to help you take care of your vehicle with our new automatic car wash bays on West Grand Crossing. Choose from our touchless or soft touch wash to make your vehicle look great both underneath and outside. Keeping your car clean helps prolong the value too. Oahe Car Wash is proud to sponsor this sports broadcast and grateful we can serve you. At the Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, your health is our number one priority. If you need medical care, then trust our team. Dr. Donald Lusick, surgeon, and Dr. Travis Henderson and Dr. Josh Henderson in internal medicine. For family and women's health, including OB, you can trust Dr. Robert Marciano, Dr. Matt Schaefer, Dr. Emily Bowden, Heather Olson, Leslie Graff, Karen Freeling, Candida Gehring, Jesse Norder, and Dory Voidy. Good luck, team, in the game from our team to yours at Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. Welcome back from the break. We're going to start our pregame with Coach Knudsen. And Coach, you, know, you get to this point of the season, you got half the season behind you. You start playing more and more of these regional opponents, and each game becomes more and more important. Uh, I know that most coaches will say we want to be the best, playing the best basketball at the end, but you got to pick up a couple of W's here and there along the way in order to get the seating points. Uh, what are you guys working on right now specifically uh, in practice to make sure that uh, you got an opportunity to win? Uh, things we're working on in practice are the simple things, the rubbing shoulders on screens and uh, reading defenses off screens if the, you know they're following them to curl and flare if they're going under the screen and just simple things like that. So it's, uh, it's simple and yet effective and the kids won't think about it come to tournament time. You know, there's there's a great mix of leadership and youth on this team, and and I, I seen I think that you've exploited both sides of it pretty well, and I think that the number one concern coming in was probably how are they going to get along. Uh, I don't know from a guy that's watching from outside, it looks like they get along pretty well. Yeah, our team gels. Uh, they get along. They laugh with each other, and most importantly, they have respect for each other. And you know, they they know they all have a big responsibility to be a good team member and I think um, there's obviously always things that happen throughout the season and as long as we learn from them and move on and have a good time and the kids are having fun so as you can see this JV kid uh, JV game the kids are playing hard and making baskets and you can tell they're having fun so thanks. Yeah, and that's the thing right there is uh, if, if you get on a roll like they got on at the end of this uh, the halftime, which it's it's almost over now, but if you get on a roll like that, it sure makes the third and fourth quarter feel a lot better, doesn't it? Most definitely. It's it's a team game, and you know, and as a high school kid and a high school player, uh, they, they all want the best for each other. You, I mean, it's awesome to see our bench just jumping up and cheering for every little thing. So kids are excited, and it's a good time of year. And I can't wait to get on the court here later. Let's talk about Chamberlain for a moment. You, you no doubt have scouted them. You know them. You've, you've seen them before, uh, even back to your playing days. Uh, uh, Chamberlain is one of those teams that is, is on paper a lot like Mobridge Pollock. So uh, coming out tonight, what do you got to do to make sure that you get the W? Uh, obviously we got to make baskets. We just, we need to get up in the gym and, and shoot, shoot it well and, and make baskets from the outside. And if you do that, you can beat anybody. All right. Good luck tonight, coach. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back in two minutes right here on star 99. At Jensen Rock and Santa Mulbridge, we work hard together as a team to make sure all your needs are met when it comes to your residential commercial construction. Whether it's a simple pail of rock or an entire basement, our staff will make sure you get what you need and back it up with the service that we've based our business on. We want to take this time to wish the Mulbridge Pollock athletes the best in the game and the season. Good luck from all of us at Jensen Rock and Sand of Mulbridge. Call 845-7213 today at Jensen Rock and Sand. All of us at Key Insurance are proud to support Mobridge Pollock Athletics and the keys to a success. Whether it's auto home, 
farm or ranch, commercial, life, or health insurance, we will be there for your key moments of life. Stop by our office at 210 East Grand Crossing and see what our team can do for you. Or give us a call at 605-845-3664. Key Insurance of Mulbridge, your key to service. It's a win-win situation at Lucky's Gas and More where you support the Mobridge Pollock Tigers and Lady Tigers. Just bring in a program from a recent Mobridge Pollock Tigers football or volleyball match and save five cents a gallon on your gas purchase at Lucky's Gas and More. It's simple. Just cheer the Tigers and Lady Tigers to victory and save five cents a gallon on gas at Lucky's Gas and More by bringing in any sports program from the past five days. They're proud to support the Tigers and proud to serve you at Lucky's Gas and More in Mobridge. Montana Dakota Utilities' slogan, In the Community to Serve, goes beyond providing safe and reliable electric and natural gas service. MDU and our dedicated employees are committed to the communities they serve, work, and live, just like the dedicated area students and coaches are committed to having the best season possible. Best of luck for a successful season to all area teams from Montana Dakota Utilities, proud to sponsor the area youth. Hey, welcome back from the break. We're going to continue on with our pregame. We're going to talk right now with Braxton Albers. And Braxton, you're at that point of the season right now. You get to uh, to the point where every game is more important than the last one. You're playing a lot of regional opponents, and you, you guys want a good seat going into the regional tournament. Uh, tonight is as big as any night, and then you come out next week, and then it's another big night. So what do you guys got to do to stay focused? I mean, Every time we come into the gym, coach is telling us to flip a switch and always stay focused during practice. And I think that over the course of the season this year, we've gotten a lot better at getting focused and getting focused throughout the game. And just, I think we'll be fine. It seems like to me that you guys have, you know, either two really good quarters or three really good quarters, but putting an entire game together right now is kind of a, a situation. Um, you, you guys know that you have a deep bench, and but it seems like you're almost letting the foot off the pedal a little bit. Am I wrong? Um, you know, it's kind of hard to say. We just kind of play how we how we play throughout the game. It's different every every time. Uh, we have a deep bench. You're right about that. But uh, it's we, we have yet to have a game where all four quarters are great. But I think we're totally capable of that, and I'm, I'm excited to, to see if it happens tonight. Yeah, watch out for those opponents when you guys do have that four-quarter run uh, where you're just on fire. Uh, inside, outside shooting, uh, it's been one of those things for you guys where some games you're living and dying by the three. Sometimes you, you guys are forcing the ball inside. Uh, is there a, a certain offense that you like to run more than others? And I think I actually like all of our offenses. I think they work really well for us. Uh, uh, I think that we can hit shots from pretty much anywhere. It just it's, it depends on the night when, when we're feeling it and stuff. But I think all of our offenses were good for us. Coming off a win and a, and a region win, too, against McLaughlin coming into tonight, uh, does that give you an edge? Do you guys feel a little bit more excited about tonight? Or, or is it uh, you don't want to get overconfident? Well, we know they're a good team, and we want to win as many games as possible throughout this late time in the season. And I think that we're just really motivated to play, and we just want to be, be the top of our region. We have talked in the past, and I don't think we've ever talked about uh, your future. You're a senior at Mobridge Pollock High School. Uh, uh, you're you're going to go out in the world. Is, is there anything that you haven't accomplished yet that you're still wanting to accomplish? And then what comes next? You know, my big goal overall in high school is to go to state. I really want to go to state. But then after high school, I just I, I want to keep playing basketball because I love the sport so much. So I'm hoping that I can go to a decent school, play, and just keep having fun with the game I love. All right. Good luck tonight. Thanks, Braxton. Thank you. Back in two minutes right here on Star 99. The sun always rises. Your dog will always love you. And the tax man always shows up. Certain things in life are always reliable. So when you're ready to talk about life insurance, contact your dependable State Farm agent. After all, you might already count on State Farm to insure your car, and your life insurance is one of the things that matters most. Plus, there might be even more ways to save on your car insurance. See Doug Heil, your State Farm agent in Mobridge, or call 845-3603. 
Best wishes to the Mobridge Pollock Tigers in today's contest from the Family Worship Center. Athletics have much they can teach us about how to compete well on the court, the mats, or the field. Hard work, camaraderie, personal and team development, determination, and fair play are but a few of the lessons that apply not only to sports, but to life. At the Family Worship Center, we desire to connect important values such as these with biblical truth in a way that encourages strong personal growth, strong families, and a strong faith. The Family Worship Center is a proud sponsor of Tiger Athletics. Community isn't just defined by a dot on the map. It can be defined by shared values, ideas, and dreams. It can be defined by the people who come together to get those dreams done. At Great Western Bank, we're focused on you. We're focused on making life great for the people and the communities we serve. We do it with honesty, integrity, and respect. Always have, always will. Since community is much more than a location, we are glad that we are in yours. Great Western Bank, making life great. Member FDIC. It's WRT scholarship time. Apply online at www.westrev.com for WRT's $1,000 scholarship and the $2,000 WRT partnership scholarship. Scholarships are for WRT members only. You or your parents must be a WRT member to apply. WRT scholarships are available to high school seniors and current college students. Apply online at westrev.com or pick up an application at your local school or WRT office. Deadline is March 1st. And welcome back here as we get set and ready for the boys. I want to remind you that tonight's game is brought to you by Great Western Bank, West River Telecommunications, Gas and Goodies, McClellan Swanson Dental Office, Hawaii Car Wash, Mulridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, Jensen Rock and Sam Lucky's Gas and More, Montana Dakota Utilities, State Farm and your State Farm agent, Doug Heil, Family Worship. Also, tonight's Keys to Success brought to you by Key Insurance, Law on the Court, brought to you by the South Dakota Attorney General's Office, Division of Consumer Protection. Scott Cadis, Randy Thomas, Derek Oliver, tonight's officials. Player of the game tonight, brought to you by Merkel's Foods. And, uh, well, the South Dakota Office of Highway Safety reminds you to avoid a kiss with death. Always plan a designated driver. And the scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Vision Care Associates. And so, with that said, we are about three minutes away from tip-off here. As we take a look at tonight's starting lineups, first of all, for the visitors under the direction of Adam Nelson, five and six on the season, and they start out like this. At a uh, guard, a senior, actually at a forward, a senior at 6'2", wearing number 10, Brent Gillickson. The other starting forward is a senior at 6'1", wearing number 12, Louis Running Horse. In the middle, the sophomore at 6'1", wearing number 20, Cameron Caldwell. And the two guards tonight, Drayton Preeb, a sophomore at 5'10", wearing number two, and Marty Ross, the junior at 5'9", wearing number three. And again, they are under the direction of Adam and Nelson, five and six on the season. The Mulberg Pollock Tigers, the home team on the scoreboard and their home gymnasium. Thomas Knudsen, the head coach, seven and six on the season, and they start out like this. A senior at 6'3", playing a forward spot, wearing number 21, Braxton Albers. The other starting forward is a sophomore at six foot, wearing number 40, Trey Cerny. In the middle, the senior at six one, wearing number 12, Noah Fireisen. And the two guards tonight, a junior at six foot, wearing number five, Reese Cerny. And a sophomore at six foot, wearing number 45, Bryston Geary. The Tigers once again under the direction of Thomas Knutson, seven and six on the season. As the uh, officials have come over to each bench, shaking hands with the coaches and staff, and uh, some of the players coming off the floor after the warm-up, they are going to do the announcement of starting lineups with public address in just a few moments. And so that gives us a great opportunity to take another break and thank some more of our sponsors. It's boys basketball coming your way next. We'll be back in three minutes, Star 99. Isn't it great when things are even better than you expect? Like arriving late for the game to watch your favorite player, the stands are packed, and then finding your favorite seat is still open. Or how about filling your tank with top-tier detergent gasoline at Gas and Goodies with their brand new pumps. Cedic's top-tier detergent has two and a half times more detergent than regular fuel. So it cleans your engine as it runs for less buildup, less maintenance, and more worry-free miles to follow your team. Good luck, Mobridge Pollock from Cedic's Gas and Goodies in Mobridge. Twice a year, you owe it to yourself to get a checkup because you were only given one set of teeth to work with. After that, it's too late to say I should have cared for them better. McQuillan Swanson Dental will help you get the most from your teeth and gums. 
So for everything from a simple checkup to a wide variety of services, trust McQuillan Swanson Dental. McQuillan Swanson Dental of Mulberridge, healthy smiles for life. What's wrong? There's nothing wrong, just different. My owner took me through the automatic car wash at Oahe Wash, and I've never been so clean. So why are you so fidgety? It not only leaves my outside squeaky clean and shiny, but it took care of my every nook and cranny underneath, too. You mean even the tailpipe? Yep, even the tailpipe. Get your car clean from bottom to top with the automatic car wash, or use their manual wash and do it yourself at Oahe Car Wash in Mulberry. Ooh, this feels great. At the Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, your health is our number one priority. If you need medical care, then trust our team. Dr. Donald Lusick, surgeon, and Dr. Travis Henderson and Dr. Josh Henderson in internal medicine. For family and women's health, including OB, you can trust Dr. Robert Marciano, Dr. Matt Schaefer, Dr. Emily Bowden, Heather Olson, Leslie Graff, Karen Freeling, Candida Gehring, Jesse Norder, and Dory Voidy. Good luck, team, in the game from our team to yours at Mobridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. As the snow flies, it's nice to know you don't have to break your back to get rid of unwanted piles in your driveway when you have Jensen Rock and Sand to do the work. We will be happy to come to your home to remove your snow and get you back on the road. For more information on rates or to get on our schedule for cleanup, give us a call at 845-7213 and leave the snow removal to us. Jensen Rock and Sand of Mobridge, Aberdeen, Eagle View, Falkton, Gettysburg, and Fort Yates. Here for all of your snow removal needs. It's a win-win situation at Lucky's Guess and More, where you support the Mobridge Pollock Tigers and Lady Tigers. Just bring in a program from a recent Mobridge Pollock Tigers football or volleyball match and save five cents a gallon on your gas purchase at Lucky's Guess and More. It's simple. Just cheer the Tigers and Lady Tigers to victory and save five cents a gallon on gas at Lucky's Guess and More by bringing in any sports program from the past five days. They're proud to support the Tigers and proud to serve you at Lucky's Guess and More in Mobridge. All right, well, public address still going through the uh, starting lineups. Noah Freed starting tonight. Noah Feierheisen is starting tonight. This goal is because of senior night. Well, and I also uh, found out through the grapevine that uh, Reese Cerny is nursing a little bit of a uh, foot injury, so he might see some time tonight, but on a limited basis. Tigers come out wearing their white with orange trim and black lettering. Home whites tonight. They do a nice little thing where they go over across the way where everybody puts their hand out and takes a high five from a varsity basketball player. That's pretty cool. So, we are ready to go. And uh, again, instead of Reese Cerny tonight in the starting lineup, it's uh, Noah Free, number two, a senior at 5'6". <laughs> yeah. Shane Anderson just told me he's as tall as Noah Free. It's true. Yeah, it's true, yeah. Noah's got a big heart. That's what we say. Well, in the center circle, Brent Gillickson against Braxton Albers, and the tip's going to be controlled by Mobridge Pollock. Right away, Gehring goes to work, looks into the left side, give it way out there to Trey Cerny. Now over it comes to Albers. Albers holds it up over his head. Now it's a Freed. Freed looks inside, goes back over to the right side instead. Give it off to Gary. Now here's Trey Cerny. Cerny, dribble drive inside the paint. Now give it out to Gary. Gary goes and backs his way in. Now back out it comes to Albers. Albers now give it off in the corner to Gary. Now up top and it comes and it's going to be in the corner. Here's Albers for three. In and out, no good. Rebound is going to be changed out there in front. And brought down by the Cubs. Cubs go on the attack and quickly through the middle of the paint. It's Prebe. Prebe goes up. He is fouled. And two shots coming up. They're going to give the foul to Noah Fireheisen. Fireheisen is going to pick up his first. And so here comes Drayton Prebe up to the charity stripe. He'll have two shots coming up. First one's on its way, front edge, no good. Pre will get the ball back and he'll come up there for the second side. 
Spins the ball in his hands, puts it on its way, and it's right there. And so the Cubs take the first lead, one to nothing. And they show a little bit of pressure at the midcourt stripe. It's going to be gearing across the stripe now. Goes into the right side. Hand it off there. And it's going to be Freeze. Back to Albers. Back to Freeze. Now over here. And Fireheisen puts up the three. Front edge. No good. Rebound. Well, it's not going to be rebounded. It hits hard off the iron. Goes scooting out of bounds. And so the Cubs are going to get it back. Pre will bring it out of the backcourt. On the dribble. Across the time stripe. Luck into the left side. Give it off there. And it's going to be Running Horse. Back up top now to Gillickson. Gillickson over to the right side and Caldwell. Here's running horse to Gillickson now to Caldwell. Caldwell comes inside the paint. Give it back out. Gillickson puts the shot up and it's going to be right there. Brad Gillickson gets the basket and it is now three to nothing. And it is the Cubs on top. Here come the Tigers back the other way in the corner to Albers. Albers looks over to the right side, out there on the wing, and it's going to be Freed. Freed goes to the left now, and from the wing spot, Gehring. Gehring spins around, brings it back up top to Albers. Albers will drop it out to Cerny. Cerny through the middle of the paint. Now into the hands of Freeze. Now it's going to be a whistle and a foul as Gehring goes driving down the right side of the paint. And the foul is going to go against Preeb. That'll be his first. New shot clock, 35 seconds, refresh up there. And there is going to be a whistle and a foul. They're going to give Brad Gillickson a foul for delay of game. And so uh, it'll be the inbounds. Fireheisen brings it back in. Now it will be going around the top of the perimeter. Albers now over to Freed. Freed looks at the three. Give it back to Albers. Albers now outside. And here is going to be Gearing with a three. No good. Rebound tipped out to Freed. And now Cerny. Freed's in the corner. Inside it comes. And it is going to be in the hands of Fireheisen. Fireheisen goes up hard. And he is going to be fouled on the way to the basket. This one's going to go against Running Horse. That'll be his first 13 foul already here against the Cubs. So Fireheisen steps up to the charity stripe, and the first one is going to be off the back edge. No good. He'll get another chance at it. Second side of the two-shot foul on its way. That one is right there. And it's 3-1. And the ball, the inbound, is going to be coming in, tipped around, and last touch by Chamberlain on the way out of bounds. So the turnover, Mobridge Pollock is going to get the ball. It's going to be Gehring to set it up, comes in to Freed. Freed will go on a dribble now, and a whistle on the play, and reaching in there, Marty Ross will pick up the foul. They have as many fouls as they do points. One, two, three, four fouls now for the Cubs. 5.33 left here in the first period. 3-1 our score. Low scoring affair so far. Here's Gary. Gary giving off now. Albers right side. Albers dribbles, goes through the middle of the paint. And there's going to be a traveling violation. And... Uh, Coach Knudsen says, well, how many steps do they get then? They only get a half a step, two steps, three steps, what? Well, apparently too many that time. Here's Preeb. Ross now back outside. And that's Gillickson. Gillickson with his second basket of the ball game. Five to one. 507 left here. Gearing back the other way. Give it off to Albers. Albers back over to Gearing. Gearing goes all the way out, almost center circle. Now Albers out there on the wing spot, right side, top of the king, give it off to Fireheisen. Fireheisen looking for somebody to go inside, and we'll give it off in the corner. Here's a three-pointer. Albers, boom! Right there! 5-4 now, and back the other way in a hurry. Fast break is going to be broken up by Albers. Loose ball is going to be picked up, going the other way. Gehring, Gehring floats in through the middle, puts it up, and good. Bryston Gehring. 
And that gives the Tigers a lead, 6-5 now. One point lead for Marbridge Pollock. Back the other way, there's a trap out there. Now it's going to be in the hands of Gillickson. Right side outside to Caldwell. Up top, and it's going to be running horse. He'll stop and pop inside the high paint. No good. And on the rebound by Fireheisen, there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Foul is going to go against Running Horse. That'll be his second. Running Horse going to come out of the lineup. Back, coming in there for his Chaz Dominguez, the 6'1 senior. Also checking out is Marty Ross. And I'm trying to find a number out there. Oh, here it is. Number one is Hayden Evans, a 5'10 sophomore. Also checking into the lineup is going to be Braden Gehring for Noah Free. Gehring's got the ball right now. Gehring is a sophomore at 5'6". Here's Trey Cerny. Cerny on the right side. And he'll go driving down the right side of the paint. There's going to be another whistle and another foul. Boy, I tell you what. This is getting out of hand. Cameron Caldwell picks up the foul. That'll be his first 15 foul right now with 349 left here in the first quarter against the Cubs. Inbounds comes in. Turnaround shot. Up and good. There's Bryston Gary. 8-5 now our score. Gearing in the backcourt, and what are they going to call here? And this one is going to go against Bryston Gearing. That'll be his first. Inbounds comes in, going to work with it is going to be Preeb. Preeb looks out to the left side now. Top of the key, it's going to be Gillickson. Now right side, outside, into the hands of Caldwell. Left side, and Preeb goes dribble drive to the basket, and up and good. Drayton Pree with a really quick first step. And it's 8 7 now. Mulbridge Pollock hanging on to a one point lead. Here's Bryston Gearing just cross the stripe. Give it off to Trace Cerny out there on the right side. Cerny looks in now and is going to give it off underneath the basket. And it's going to be Braden to Bryston Gearing now into the corner it comes. And it is going to be Fireheisen with a drive to the basket up off the window. Good. 10 7 now. Mulbridge Pollock on top, 2.53 left here in the first quarter. Here come the Cubs. Right side, outside, Evans. Evans looking down on the baseline. Give it off there. It's going to be Preeb. Preeb goes dribble now with a nice pass around. Picked up by Dominguez. His shot is blocked. Loose ball picked up by Bryston Gearing. Gearing goes right down the middle of the paint. There's going to be a whistle and a foul on the play. And it looks like Preeb is going to pick it up. That'll be his second 16 foul. Next foul committed by Chamberlain. And uh, we're in the bonus. So Mulbridge Pollock will inbound just to the right of underneath their own basket. Inbounds is set. Comes out Trey Cerny way out there. Now Trey Cerny goes through the middle of the paint. He drops a pass in on Fireside. Fire eyes it, and it's no good on the shot. The putback is no good. Here's Evans back the other way. Brand new into the ball game is going to be, oh, man, 23. I think that's the number. No, it's 33. This is Kishami Thai, the freshman at 6-1. Whistle down at the other end. Foul is going to go against Noah Fireheisen. and that'll be his second. So Fireheisen is going to check out of the lineup, and checking in for him is going to be, well, Caden Halsey checks in there for Mulbridge Pollock. Inbounds comes in, down in the corner now. Here's a turnaround three on the way, no good. Rebound by Thigh, up no good. This time the rebound controlled by Mulbridge Pollock, and... Uh, well, I tell you what, almost out of bounds. Good hustle that time by Albers. Tigers go on the attack. Top of the key is Gehring over to Albers. Down in the corner, Braden Gehring. Braden up to Halsey. Halsey will reverse now. He'll go back up top of the key. Give it off to Albers. Albers looking for a pick. Now will go off the left side. Three-pointer on the way. Boom! Right there, Braston Gehring. 13-7 now. Mobridge Pollock on top. Back the other way. Caldwell looks inside. And it's going to be Gillickson dropping off to Thigh. Thigh puts a shot up. No good. Rebound chased down this time by Cerny. Cerny will give it off. And coming back the other way is Bryston Gehring. Bryston on the dribble. Way, way outside. 
Looks over to Halsey. Halsey just left of top of the key. Now looks over to Braden Gearing. Braden Gearing goes dribble a couple of times. Bryston Gearing goes on the dribble drive, and he is going to be fouled as he goes right down the right side of the paint. Looks like Evans might pick this one up. Hayden Evans with the foul, and it's going to be a shooting foul as now, with one minute and three seconds left here in the first quarter, it is bonus time for Mobridge Pollock. They're going to say this is a two-shot foul, though. Bryston Gearing comes up there, hits the first one. Trey Cerny checks out of the lineup, and it's going to be Caden Eisenman, the sophomore 5'11", checking in for him. And Bryston Gearing hits both sides. Seven fouls, seven points right now for the boys from Chamberlain. There's Eisenman with a steal. Give it off now. Braden Gearing's pop stops over there on the right side. Give it off to Albers. Albers to Eisenman. Eisenman looks around trying to find somebody to get the ball to. Bryston Gearing will pop out there on the left side. Just left top of the key. One dribble back over to Eisenman. Eisenman looks now and it's going to be Albers. Albers down the middle of the paint. Up off the window. Good! 17-7 with 30 seconds left here. And there's a steal at the midcourt stripe. And it's Gearing and Bryston Gearing with his fourth basket. Now 19-7. Evans back the other way for the Cubs. Give it up to Gillickson. Gillickson comes inside the paint, leans in, puts it up in good. His third basket. Nine seconds, eight seconds. Here is going to be Bryston Gearing. Four seconds, three seconds. And now he'll go on the dribble drive, put it up no good, and that's it. After one, on your Vision Care Associate scoreboard, it's Mulbridge Pollock 19, Chamberlain 9 back in 60 seconds, star 99. Montana Dakota Utilities slogan, in the community to serve, goes beyond providing safe and reliable electric and natural gas service. MDU and our dedicated employees are committed to the communities they serve, work, and live, just like the dedicated area students and coaches are committed to having the best season possible. Best of luck for a successful season to all area teams from Montana Dakota Utilities, proud to sponsor the area youth. The sun always rises, your dog will always love you, and the tax man always shows up. Certain things in life are always reliable. So when you're ready to talk about life insurance, contact your dependable State Farm agent. After all, you might already count on State Farm to insure your car, and your life insurance is one of the things that matters most. Plus, there might be even more ways to save on your car insurance. See Doug Heil, your State Farm agent in Mobridge, or call 845-3603. After eight minutes, it's a 10-point lead right now for Mobridge Pollock, 19-9. Coming in the second quarter, Chamberlain's going to have the basketball to start the second quarter. Evans out there along with Preeb. Also out there is Running Horse and also out there is going to be Thigh and Gillickson. Right now, Running Horse, give it up to Thigh, right side, outside. He'll go on the dribble a couple of times. Now go cross court, give it off to Evans. Inside the running horse. Running horse trying to with a no-look pass. And it's going to be too tall for Thigh. And the turnover, Mobridge Pollock going to go back the other way. Halsey and Gearing and Gearing also out there is Cerny. That's Trey Cerny and Albers. Here's Bryston Gearing across the tri time stripe. Now looks over to Braden, left side out. Back up top, it comes to Bryston. Bryston back over to Braden. Down in the corner it comes, and it's Halsey. Braden Geary, now Halsey, open for three, puts it on its way, and it's going to be long, no good. Rebound comes out to Thai. Evans now give it off to Preve. Preve with a nice pass underneath, and I tell you what, running horse was trying to shoot before he had the ball in his hands, and it just went through his hands and out of bounds. And so we'll go back the other way. Braden Geary, give it off to Bryston across the time strike. Bryston looks over to Albers. Albers eyes the three for a second. Back out it comes Bryston now. Brighton Gearing for three. Boom! Right there. Brighton Gearing heads from downtown. 22 now to nine. Marbridge Pollock on top. Gillickson top of the key. Double drive. Now hands it off. And a fadeaway shot up. No good by Running Horse. 
Gillickson right there with the rebound, no good. This time the rebound comes out after a couple of tips and it's Bryston Gearing. He wants to lead the break. All the way down inside the paint. Wings back, puts it up and good. Timeout called by the bench of the Cubs. 24-9 our score right now. 6.33 left in the first half. We are going to come back in 60 seconds. Mulberge Pollock on top, star 99. Best wishes to the Mobridge Pollock Tigers in today's contest from the Family Worship Center. Athletics have much they can teach us about how to compete well on the court, the mats, or the field. Hard work, camaraderie, personal and team development, determination, and fair play are but a few of the lessons that apply not only to sports, but to life. At the Family Worship Center, we desire to connect important values such as these with biblical truth in a way that encourages strong personal growth, strong families, and a strong faith. The Family Worship Center is a proud sponsor of Tiger Athletics. Great Western Bank in Mulberge is providing a full range of financial services to its personal and business banking customers. Wherever you are in life, we have a wide range of products and services to help you along the way. From everyday banking needs to the financial tools to help you plan for tomorrow. We are always trying to find a better rate, better option, and a better solution for you. This is Misty Helm, branch manager at Great Western Bank in Mulberge, doing what it takes to make your life great. Great Western Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Chamberlain's going to have the ball coming out of the timeout. They're down right now 24 to 9 with 6.33 left here in the second quarter. And going to work with it is going to be Preeb. Preeb will give it off right side to Thigh. Thigh looks inside. Not much going on there. Give it off to Evans. Way out there now, Preeb. Preeb on the left side. Gillickson down on the baseline. Now inside it comes. And the running horse has his shot blocked. Loose ball picked up by Halsey. Halsey give it off. And it's going to be. This time Bryson Gearing crossing the time stripe. Now give it out and it's going to be Trey Cerny. Back over to Braden Gearing down in the corner to Albers. Braden Gearing once again now Bryson. Bryson looks over to Braden. Braden open for three. No, he's going to stop and pop. 17 footer, no good. Rebound, crashing the boards that time is going to be Trey Cerny. Trey Cerny falling out of bounds, throws it off of the knee of one of the players. And Mobridge Pollock's going to get it back underneath their own basket. Evans going to check out of the lineup. Cameron Caldwell will check back in for the Cubs. Inbounds is set. Comes in. And going to work with it this time is Trey Cerny. Leaves one up on the rim. No good. Fight for the rebound. And there's going to be a whistle and a foul. And this one is going to go against Trey Cerny. Cerny picks up his first. Trace will come out of a ball game. And check him back in there. There's going to be Noah Feierheisen for Mobridge Pollock. So, Preeb will bring it out of the backcourt. He will cross the time stripe. Now work it into the right side. Into the high post. It comes Thigh. Now Caldwell. Caldwell stop and pop. 17-footer. No good. And it's going to be tipped around right into the hands of Thigh. Up and good. And 24-11 now. Mulbridge Pollock still on top. They've got the basketball. Brandon Gearing. Give it off to Bryston Gearing. Now the left side, three-pointer on the way, boom, right there. Braxton Albers, deep corner three. 27 now to 11. Back the other way in a hurry. Preeb goes through the middle of the paint. No good on the shot. Rebound pulled out of the air by Fire Eisen and a whistle and a foul coming up. Foul is going to go against Gillickson. That'll be his second. And it's the seventh team foul. Actually, it's the eighth team foul. So we're going to march all the way down to the other end, and Feierheisen's going to have a chance to add to this lead. Got to hit the first one to get to the second one. It's the one and one on its way right there. Feierheisen will get the bonus shot as he takes the basketball, takes a couple of dribbles. One dribble, actually, puts it on its way. No good. Rebound comes out to Gillickson. Gillickson will give it off, and Thigh down court to Caldwell. Back out to Thigh. He'll go on the dribble. Now give it off, and it's Preeb. Preeb right side, outside. Couple of dribbles down in the corner. Comes to Running Horse. Back out to Preeb. Preeb looks in now to Gillickson, and a pass is going to go through his hands, right into the hands of Halsey. Mulberry's probably going back the other way. Down in the corner. Here's a shot on the way. Three-pointer is going to be no good. Hits hard off the iron and goes up and hits the back of the standard. Out of bounds. Gillickson going to check out of the lineup. Here's Jazz Dominguez back in there. The 6-1 senior. 
Inbounds comes in. Pree will work out of the backcourt. Slowly bring it across the time stripe. Goes into the left side. Now trying to go cross court. Caldwell picks it up somehow. Here's Thigh. Thigh from 15. No good. Rebound comes out to Halsey. Now here comes out of the backcourt. Albers give it off to Bryston Geary. Now Brandon Geary from the right side. Way, way out there. Down in the corner now to Halsey. Halsey brings it back out. Braden, Brandon Geary. Now here is Fireheisen. Fireheisen goes on the floor. Almost loses it there. Give it up Bryston Gehring. 13 on the shot clock as Gehring will back it out. 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Now Braden Gehry. Braden goes on the dribble drive through the middle of the paint. And they're going to say the foul was committed before the shot. Foul is going to go against Reeb, or Preeb that is, Drayton Preeb. And the OO foul for Drayton Preeb. He's got three, and we're still four minutes away from halftime. So back in the ball game is Hayden Evans for Chamberlain. Meanwhile, coming to the cherry stripe is Braden Gehring. Gehring will come up there with the one and one. Spins the ball in his hands, puts the first one on its way. It's right there. 29 down to 11, trying to make it 30 with this one. Takes three dribbles, spins the ball in his hands, puts it on its way. That one's right there as well. He gets both sides. Now 30 to 11 at a timeout on the floor. 3.56 left until halftime. Mulberg Pollock leads back in 30, star 99. Cut costs and your expensive TV bill. Watch your favorite TV shows, sports, local channels, and movies using WRT's Wi-Fi. Plus, earn WRT cash back. Members received on average $340 in real cash back. Plus, receive a free $50 gift card for Sling TV, Netflix, or Hulu when you sign up for Wi-Fi, increase your speed, and or drop your landline phone. Call 845-3100 or stop by the office on Grand Crossing in Mobridge. Make the cuts and gain co-op cash with WRT. Hey, coming out of the timeout, 30 to 11 right now. Mulbridge Pollock enjoying a big lead and just about four minutes left here in the first half. Chamberlain with the basketball, Caldwell. Give it off to Preeb, now over to Evans. Evans way out there, Caldwell in the corner. He's trying to find a lane to pass it inside to. And now they give it off and it's running horse, running horse to Thigh. Thigh from the right side, now Dominguez. Dominguez give it off and going to work with his Caldwell. Thigh again down in the corner. Thigh looks inside and it's going to be Dominguez with a little hook shot up, no good. And the rebound comes out to Albers. Albers will give it off and Braden Gehring breaks the time barrier. Now Bryston's got it, top of the key. Bryston Gehring backs it out and now trying to go into the left side. Albers runs into the pass. Now into the corner comes Braden Gehring. Now Braxton Albers. 17 on the shot clock, plenty of time here. Halsey, Halsey holds the ball up, now give it off, and it's going to be Bryston Gehring. Inside it comes, and it's going to be in the hands of Fireheisen. Now a shot on the way, three-pointer off the front edge, no good. Rebound is chased down uh, this time by Running Horse. Caldwell back the other way, Running Horse top of the key. He'll drop a pass in underneath, trying to give it off that time to Dominguez, and... Uh, Boy, a bullet pass that short a distance, it's going to be tough to catch. Last touch by the Cubs on the way out of bounds. Mulbridge Pollock will come back the other way. Going to work with it is going to be Braden Gehring across the time stripe. He'll look into the right side, now give it off there, and it's going to be Albers. Albers up top to Fireheisen. Fireheisen. And Fireisen goes on the dribble and a timeout called by the Mobridge Pollock bench. 30 now to 11 our score with 2.23 left in the first half. Mobridge Pollock on top. Back in 30 right here on Star 99. Isn't it great when things are even better than you expect? Like arriving late for the game to watch your favorite player, the stands are packed, and then finding your favorite seat is still open. Or how about filling your tank with top-tier detergent gasoline at Gas and Goodies with their brand new pumps. Cenex top-tier detergent has two and a half times more detergent than regular fuel. So it cleans your engine as it runs for less buildup, less maintenance, and more worry-free miles to follow your team. Good luck, Mobridge Pollock from Cenex Gas and Goodies in Mobridge. 
Out of the timeout, 30 to 11 our score right now. Mobridge Pollock on top, 223 left here in the first half. And the Tigers will inbound in front of the Chamberlain bench. Inbounds is set up by Bryston Geary. Give it off to Halsey. Halsey from the left wing spot. Back out it comes to Bryston. Eight seconds on the shot glug. Bryston goes on the dribble, top of the key. Now give it off Halsey. Halsey for three, and that's going to be long. No good. Rebound comes out to Gillickson, who just checked back into the lineup. Now back the other way, Caldwell. Caldwell throws a, well, a skip pass that is going to be kicked out of bounds. And they're going to say a kick ball, and that'll give the ball to Chamberlain. Inbounds is set up. Caldwell into the corner. Give it off. And a shot on the way by Evans. No good. Three-pointer attempt. Rebound comes out to Albers. It's stolen away from him. Back the other way. Caldwell puts it up and good. And that's their second basket of the second quarter. And makes it 30-13. to Mulberg's Pollock having a rough time scoring too. Both teams can't buy a basket right now. Top of the key. It's going to be in the hands of Halsey. Now Albers. Now in on the block he comes. And it's back outside. Now Halsey underneath the apple tree all by himself. Up and God. Caden Halsey. They found that backdoor pass. 32-13. Mulberg's Pollock on top. Here's Caldwell, left side, outside, down in the corner, give it off there, and it's going to be Evans, back up top, Caldwell. Caldwell, through the middle of the paint, puts one up, and good. All of a sudden, Cameron Caldwell starting to catch fire a little bit. Here come the Tigers back the other way. 32-15 to 15 right now, and a 17-point lead for Mobridge Pollock. Braden Gearing gives it into the high paint now, and a nice pass underneath to uh, Halsey. Halsey trying to give it back out to Fireheisen, and Fireheisen just hikes it through his legs and out of bounds. So, under a minute left here. In fact, 51 seconds left on the clock. 32-15 the score right now. Mulbridge Pollock on top, and Chamberlain's got the basketball. Caldwell. Comes inside, loses the handle for a moment, brings it back out. It's Gillickson. Gillickson now give it up to Caldwell, right side, back inside Gillickson. He is going to turn around, put one up, no good. It's right there with the rebound into the hands of Halsey. Halsey give it up to Albers, and Albers is going to go with the high dribble, they're going to say. So a turnover, and we're going to go back the other way. Coming out of the lineup for the Cubs is going to be Dominguez. And back in there is going to be Louis Running Horse. 24 seconds on the clock here in the first half. Back the other way. Caldwell into the right side. Looks to Running Horse. Top of the key now Evans. Evans looks to Thigh. Down in the corner. Back out to Evans. Now up top to Gillickson. Now Caldwell. Caldwell goes on the dribble from right to left. Loses the handle on the ball. Last touched on the way out of bounds by Mobridge Pollock. Three seconds on the clock. Cubs will inbound from the far side. Almost at the midcourt strike. So Evans will set it up. Comes into Caldwell. Two seconds. One second. Caldwell fires up a shot at the buzzer. No good. And at halftime, our score. Mobridge Pollock, 32 and uh, Chamberlain, 15. That's on your Vision Care Associates scoreboard. We are going to come back in three minutes. We'll have it all added up and tell you about it right here on Star 99. At McQuillan Swanson Dental, we understand. We understand the nervousness, the edginess, the fear that takes over. And that's why when you sit down in the chair, you can't have a better friend than the one you'll have at McQuillan Swanson Dental. Our dentists understand your apprehension. That's why you're their first concern for any dental procedure. Whether it's a simple cleaning or something as complex as a root canal, you can rest assured that our dentists will take every precaution to make sure you're as comfortable as you can be. McQuillan Swanson Dental of Mulbridge, your smile, our success. Ooh, Herbie, you look so handsome. Oh, it's because my owner takes me to the Oahi Car Wash and makes me look great. And you do. My owner washes me himself in the driveway. You should 
it to your owner to the Oahi car wash. To drag around hoses, soap, or nothing. All he has to do is slide his debit card or put in cash, and it'll take half the time. Whether you're a do-it-yourself kind of guy and like to wash your car yourself, or prefer the convenience of an automated car wash, Oahi Car Wash is here to serve you. I can't wait to see you. At the Mobridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, your health is our number one priority. If you need medical care, then trust our team. Dr. Donald Lusick, surgeon, and Dr. Travis Henderson and Dr. Josh Henderson in internal medicine. For family and women's health, including OB, you can trust Dr. Robert Marciano, Dr. Matt Schaefer, Dr. Emily Bowden, Heather Olson, Leslie Graff, Karen Freeling, Candida Gehring, Jesse Norder, and Dory Voidy. Good luck, team, in the game from our team to yours at Mobridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. At Jensen Rock and Sand of Mobridge, we can handle all of your construction needs. Whether it's rock for your landscaping, asphalt for your driveway, or concrete for your new basement, we have all the products and services you need at the prices that won't break your budget. You can stop by and pick up what you need. We also have the equipment to help you prepare for your site if you need it. For all of your commercial and residential needs, give us a call at 845-7213 at Jensen Rock and Sand of Mobridge. It's a win-win situation at Lucky's Gas and More, where you support the Mobridge Pollock Tigers and Lady Tigers. Just bring in a program from a recent Mobridge Pollock Tigers football or volleyball match and save five cents a gallon on your gas purchase at Lucky's Gas and More. It's simple. Just cheer the Tigers and Lady Tigers to victory and save five cents a gallon on gas at Lucky's Gas and More by bringing in any sports program from the past five days. They're proud to support the Tigers and proud to serve you at Lucky's Gas and More in Mobridge. Montana Dakota Utilities' slogan, In the Community to Serve, goes beyond providing safe and reliable electric and natural gas service. MDU and our dedicated employees are committed to the communities they serve, work, and live, just like the dedicated area students and coaches are committed to having the best season possible. Best of luck for a successful season to all area teams from Montana Dakota Utilities, proud to sponsor the area youth. Hey, welcome back. The Mulbridge Pollock High School Band is entertaining the crowd here tonight. Let's uh, let's hear from them for just a second. Tell you what, it's nice to have the band at the ball game, revving the crowd up, and uh, they are spectacular. They they sound better and better every time I hear them. And let's take a look at final uh, individual scoring for the first half. Brent Gillickson ended up with six points for the Cubs, four points for uh, Cameron Caldwell, three points for uh, Drayton Preeb, and two points for uh, Kashami Thai. Uh, foul troubles right now. Well, Drayton Preeb's got three fouls. He's going to have to play a little bit more cautiously in the second half, maybe limited to time in the third quarter, depending on if this game gets closer or not. On the other side of the ball, eight points for Braxton Albers. Uh, Trey Cerny with a foul right now. A couple of fouls for Noah Fireheyes, and he's got four points. Bryston Gearing with a foul, but he's uh, leading the way with 13 points. Two points for Keaton Halsey and five points for uh, Braden Gearing. So right now uh, in the first half, uh, it's a kind of a runaway, a little bit. 17-point lead for Mobridge Pollock again earlier tonight. A great game until uh, late in the fourth quarter. Uh, the Lady Cubs defeated the Lady Tigers 50-37 to earlier tonight. But uh, the Lady Tigers really came out and played well. And uh, it was uh, disappointing at the end. They kind of kind of lost momentum and they couldn't get it back but uh, uh, a closer game than the score will tell anyway we're about five minutes away from getting things started here in the second half again at halftime on your vision care associate scoreboard the tigers lead the cubs 32 to 15 chance to take a four minute timeout we'll be right back this is star 99 the sun always rises your dog will always love you and the tax man always shows up. 
Certain things in life are always reliable. So when you're ready to talk about life insurance, contact your dependable State Farm agent. After all, you might already count on State Farm to insure your car, and your life insurance is one of the things that matters most. Plus, there might be even more ways to save on your car insurance. See Doug Heil, your State Farm agent in Mobridge, or call 845-3603. Best wishes to the Mobridge Pollock Tigers in today's contest from the Family Worship Center. Athletics have much they can teach us about how to compete well on the court, the mats, or the field. Hard work, camaraderie, personal and team development, determination, and fair play are but a few of the lessons that apply not only to sports, but to life. At the Family Worship Center, we desire to connect important values such as these with biblical truth in a way that encourages strong personal growth, strong families, and a strong faith. The Family Worship Center is a proud sponsor of Tiger Athletics. Community isn't just defined by a dot on the map. It can be defined by shared values, ideas, and dreams. It can be defined by the people who come together to get those dreams done. At Great Western Bank, we're focused on you. We're focused on making life great for the people and the communities we serve. We do it with honesty, integrity, and respect. Always have, always will. Since community is much more than a location, we are glad that we are in yours. Great Western Bank, making life great. Member FDIC. Cut costs and your expensive cable bill and start enjoying unlimited streaming with WRT. Enjoy the area's fastest internet, now available with or without a phone line. Plus, receive a free $50 gift card for Sling TV, Netflix, or Hulu when you sign up for Wi-Fi, increase your internet speed, and or drop your landline phone. Call 845-3100 or stop by the office on Grand Crossing in Mobridge. Make the cuts and gain more with WRT. Isn't it great when things are even better than you expect? Like arriving late for the game to watch your favorite player, the stands are packed, and then finding your favorite seat is still open. Or how about filling your tank with top-tier detergent gasoline at Gas and Goodies with their brand new pumps. Cenex top-tier detergent has two and a half times more detergent than regular fuel. So it cleans your engine as it runs for less buildup, less maintenance, and more worry-free miles to follow your team. Good luck, Mobridge Pollock from Cenex Gas and Goodies in Mobridge. When looking for dental care, trust the team at McQuillan Swanson Dental to take care of your entire family's dental needs. Whether it's a checkup, whitening, or cosmetic dentistry, Dr. Mark McQuillan and Dr. Tom Swanson can make sure your dental work is done efficiently and affordable at McQuillan Swanson Dental. To learn more about our facility or schedule an appointment, give us a call at 845-7222 at McQuillan Swanson Dental. Here for all of your family's dental needs. Have you tried the new car wash bays at Oahe Car Wash in Mobridge? If you haven't, now's the time. Winter weather driving on snow and ice is hard on your car's underside and outside. Choose from either one of our new car wash bays, soft touch or touch free. Your car will be washed underneath to get all of the salt and gravel from winter roads, then be washed and dried so you're ready to hit the road. There's even wax to protect your paint all winter. Maintain the value of your car with a car wash from Oahe Car Wash in Mobridge. At the Mobridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, your health is our number one priority. If you need medical care, then trust our team. Dr. Donald Lusick, surgeon, and Dr. Travis Henderson and Dr. Josh Henderson in internal medicine. For family and women's health, including OB, you can trust Dr. Robert Marciano, Dr. Matt Schaefer, Dr. Emily Bowden, Heather Olson, Leslie Graff, Karen Freeling, Candida Gehring, Jesse Norder, and Dori Voidy. Good luck, team, in the game from our team to yours at Mobridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. All right, welcome back here. We are just a few lingering moments away from the second half. And, uh, well, 32 to 15 right now. The band's still getting the crowd into it. Do a little crazy train. I like it. I like it a lot. So anyway, we have a 32-15 game right now. Mobridge Pollock on top. And uh, both teams at the bench right now getting some last-second advice from their coaching staff. Let's see who comes out on the floor. Louie Running Horse also out there. Brant Gillickson. Also Drayton Prebe, Cameron Caldwell, and Marty Ross for the Cubs. For the Tigers. It's going to be Trey Cerny also out there. Bryston Gehring, Fireheisen, Braden Gehring, and also out there is going to be uh, Albers. 
And uh, official timeout. And I guess a clock was uh, malfunctioning. And so they readjust the shot clock to 28 seconds. Lumbridge Pollock inbounds. It's going to be Bryston Gearing. Right side to Brandon Gearing. He'll go on the dribble around the top of the perimeter. Give it off now. Trey Cerny. Cerny will drop it off to Braden Gearing. He'll stop and pop. 15-footer. No good. Rebound comes out to Running Horse. Running Horse giving off to Prebe. Up ahead to Caldwell. Caldwell goes through the middle of the paint. Down in the corner. Give it off to Ross. Ross back out. Caldwell. Now to Running Horse. Running Horse loses the handle for a moment. Picks it up. Give it off to Caldwell. Inside to Gullickson. Now it's going to be Prebe for three. And it's going to be no good. Trey Cerny right there with the rebound. Give it off now. Here comes Bryston Gearing back the other way. Gearing looks into the right side and we'll give it off to Braden Gearing. Braden on the dribble a couple of times. Now give it off to Bryston. Bryston left side. Inside it comes and it's Fireheisen. A couple of pump fakes. Fade away. Up and good! Noah Fireheisen with a nice, nice fade away that time. 34-15, back the other way. Gillickson goes up through the middle of the paint. Puts a shot up, no good. And Trey Cerny is going to be tied up. They're going to say jump ball. And the possession arrow belongs to Chamberlain. So the Cubs will inbound underneath their own basket. Just to the right of it anyway. Preem will set up the inbounds. Comes in, and it's going to be running horse. Nice pump fake. Goes, turns, puts it up in good. His first basket of the ball game comes here in the third quarter. 34-17 now. Mulbridge Pollock on top. 6.33 left here in the third. Back the other way. Braden Gearing. Give it off now to Albers. Albers out there on the wing spot. He'll go on the baseline drive. Up and good. And he's going to go to the line. Three-point play try. Uh, just about to commence. Foul is going to go against Gullickson. And Gullickson is going to pick up his third. The uh oh foul on him. So Braxton Albers steps up there. One shot to make it a three-point play. Takes a look. Puts it on its way. Right there. 37-17. 20-point lead right now for Mobridge Pollock. Here come the Cubs. Back the other way. Gellickson give it off to Caldwell. Into the corner to Preve. Preve goes baseline. Now trying to give it off. And it's going to be stolen away. And Bryston Gearing's got the ball in the corner. Then he steps out of bounds. So the Cubs will inbound. They're going to have it in the corner. Preeb will set it up. Comes in to Gullickson. Now give it up to Running Horse. Running Horse goes on the dribble drive down the left side. Now Gullickson back out to Preeb. Preeb is going to give it up to Gullickson. Here's Ross. Ross right side outside. Caldwell down in the corner. Back to Ross. Now out it comes Gullickson. 19 on the shot clock. Here's Preeb. Preeb goes through the middle of the paint. And there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Reaching in there that time, getting caught with his hand in the empty cook jar. Cookie jar was Braden Gehring. That'll be his first. So Chamberlain will once again set up the inbounds, and it's going to come into running horse. He'll put the hook shot up and good. 37-19 now. Mulbridge Pollock still on top. They come back the other way. Right side, outside. Here's a three-pointer on the way by Brandon Gehring. Braden's no good. Rebound comes out, and Preeb will go down court with it to Ross. Ross's shot's going to be blocked, and the loose ball is picked up by Fireheisen. Fireheisen will go to the basket, and he is going to be fouled. Foul is going to go against Marty Ross. That'll be his second. Fireheisen hits the mat pretty good there. And so Fireheisen going to go to the charity stripe. And he's going to have two shots coming up. Number five and maybe, well, number five and six trips up there on its way. And it's in and out no good. Evans going to check out of the lineup. Marty Ross will have a seat on the bench. This is uh, Hayden Evans, a sophomore, 5'10". Got a chance to see him play a little JV ball earlier. And he's got a nice stroke. If he gets uh, open, he's going to throw up the three. And nine times out of ten, he's going to make it. 
Long down court pass back the other way, and Bryston Gehring steps in front, but Gehring is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second. So the Cubs will inbound from the far side. Inbounds comes in, and it's Preeb. Preeb left side, outside, give it off to Caldwell. Caldwell back over to Evans. Evans from the right wing. Now in to Running Horse. Pump fake, puts one up. That's right there. And Louie Running Horse is starting to get warm here. 37-21, five minutes left here in the third quarter. Bryston Gearing is going to give it off now to Albers. Albers goes dribble drive through the middle of the paint, leaves one up there, no good. Gullickson right there with the rebound. All of a sudden, Mowbridge Pollock is ice cold. Long down court pass, stolen away by Bryston Gearing. Gearing will come back the other way, slowly, out of the backcourt. And now break the time stripe. Right side, outside, way out there is going to be Braden Gary. Braden, a couple of dribbles, now give it off, and Bryston will have it from the wing spot left side. Now over to Braden Gary. Down inside it comes, and it's going to be from the baseline, back out to Fireheisen from the wing. Fireheisen give it off, and Braden Gary, three, boom, right there. Braden Gary hits his second three-pointer. And it's now 40 to 21, back to a 19 point lead. Pretty back the other way, hard off the back edge, no good. Fireheisen with the rebound. Out it comes, and it is going to be this time. Down the high court with Braden Gearing with a nifty move through the paint. Throws his head one way, puts his hands the other way, up off the window. It's good, and he's going to go to the line. Foul is going to go against Running Horse. That'll be the OO foul on him, number three on him. And, and coming up there with a chance at a three-point play is Braden Geary. Spins the ball in his hands, now puts it on its way. It's right there. 43 now to 21. Back the other way, it's called well. He'll leave one up on the rim, no good. Rebound, tipped around, and Braden Geary comes up with it. Braden will break the time barrier. Look into the right side now and back it out a couple of steps. Give it off brand new in the ball game is going to be Caden Eisenman. Eisenman giving off to Albers down in the corner. Albers looks in now and it's going to be Halsey. Halsey bring it back out to Eisenman. Eisenman looks for a lane to drive. Now we'll give it off and it's going to be Albers. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Down in the corner. Open for three. Halsey. Boom. Wow. All of a sudden, uh, Mowbridge Pollock cannot lose. It was a drought for so long, and now open the floodgates. 46-21. Mowbridge Pollock on top. 3-12 left here in the third quarter. Back in 60, star 99. At Jensen Rock and Sand of Mowbridge, we work hard together as a team to make sure all of your needs are met when it comes to your residential or commercial construction. Whether it's a simple pile of rock or an entire basement, our staff will help make sure that you get what you need and back it up with the service that we have based our business on. We want to take this time to wish the Mobridge Pollock athletes the best in the game and the season. Good luck from all of us at Jensen Rock and Sand of Mobridge. It's a win-win situation at Lucky's Guess and More where you support the Mobridge Pollock Tigers and Lady Tigers. Just bring in a program from a recent Mobridge Pollock Tigers football or volleyball match and save five cents a gallon on your gas purchase at Lucky's Guess and More. It's simple. Just cheer the Tigers and Lady Tigers to victory and save five cents a gallon on gas at Lucky's Guess and More by bringing in any sports program from the past five days. They're proud to support the Tigers and proud to serve you at Lucky's Guess and More in Mobridge. 3-12 left here in the third quarter. Coming out of the timeout, Mowbridge Pollock with the 46-21 lead over Chamberlain right now. Tigers come on the floor with Braden Gearing. Also out there is Caden Eisenman, Caden Halsey, Noah Fireheisen, and Braxton Albers. Chamberlain with the ball. And cross-court pass goes into the right side to Hayden Evans. Evans goes down hard. Foul on the play is going to go against Albers. Albers reached out to help him back up. And Evans said, I ain't having any of that. And so inbounds comes in, and right away they throw the ball away. 
as Pree was trying to find running horse inside, went right through his hands and into the defense. So Mobridge Pollock, Eisenman right side. Looks into the wing spot and give it off there. It's going to be Albers. Albers looks back up top, give it off to Braden Geary. Now Eisenman. Eisenman now give it off to Fireheisen from the corner. Fireheisen catches the ball, takes two steps, and that's a travel violation. Thai comes back into the lineup for the Cubs, and Caldwell going to have a seat on the bench. So Gillickson, Thai, running horse. Evans and Preeb out there right now for Chamberlain. Here's Preeb, top of the key, give it off to Thai. One dribble, looking inside. Not much there. Gillickson way outside. Now gets the ball back from Evans. And there is going to be a whistle away from the ball and a three-second violation against Chamberlain. Turnover, and it'll be Mobridge Poly basketball. Inbounds comes in, Braden carrying, give it off to Eisman, back to Braden across the time stride. Braden works it to the top of the key. Now looks over, and it's Albers for three. Boom, right there. Braxton Albers hits one from downtown. 49 now to 21. And here come the Cubs back the other way. Gillickson now. Here's Pree. Pree throws up a long three. Front edge no good. Rebound. Gillickson. He'll put it back up and good. 149 left here in the third quarter. 49-23. Mulbridge Pollock on top. They've got the basketball. It's going to be Braden Gearing. Give it off now, and a nice pass this time, and the shot is up and good. Tell you what, Fireheisen with a wraparound pass to Halsey. Halsey gets the basket, and it is good, and he is fouled. Foul is going to go against Brent Gillickson, and he has picked up his fourth. Here is Selick McManus, the 6'4 freshman into the lineup for the Cubs. Also coming back in there is going to be Jazz Dominguez for the Cubs. Shot, one shot only, and it's going to be no good. Rebound is squirted all the way out to Halsey, though, and he'll put it out there in the top, and they'll set up the offense. Eisenman. Eisenman give it off that. Oh, man. Wow. What a hit this time. Evans goes after the ball aggressively and just drills. Braden Gehring. Gehring's going to have to come out of the lineup because he's got blood dripping out of his lip and Bryston is going to come in for him. So the inbounds comes in for Mobridge Pollock and Bryston Gehring ends up with a give it off to Albers. Albers way up there on top now. He'll go on the dribble drive through the middle of the paint. Up no good. Rebound tipped around. It's going to come out to Evans. Evans is going to Run it out of the backcourt, go into the top of the key, give it off there to McManus. McManus give it off to Caldwell, back to Evans. Evans give it off, and it's Thigh this time. Thigh on the baseline, McManus back out to Thigh. Now right side way out there is Evans. Up top to Caldwell. Caldwell comes into about the free throw line, leans in, puts one up, no good. Fireheisen right there with a the rebound, and he'll give it off, and it's Bryston Gearing coming out of the backcourt. Cross the time stripe. Now go into the left side. Gary now will give it off, and it's going to be Fireheisen. Fireheisen eyes a three, brings it back out instead, and gives it off to Gary. Bryston on the dribble drive through the middle of the paint. Now drops one in there on the block to Fireheisen. Fireheisen puts one up, and no good. But on the rebound, there is going to be a fight for the rebound and a jump ball called. 17 seconds left on the third quarter clock. Eight seconds on the shot clock. And the Tigers will inbound from just to the left of underneath their own basket. Comes in, Eisenman. Now it's going to be in the hands of Albers. Now inside, and it's going to be the turnaround shot on the way. No good by Fire Eisen. Evans with the rebound. Caldwell back the other way. Caldwell goes dribble drive into the corner. Here's Thigh. Three-pointer. Boom! Right there at the buzzer. And just like that, our score going into the fourth quarter is 51-26. Mobridge Pollock on top. That is on your Vision Care Associates scoreboard. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right here 
in just one minute, star 99. Montana Dakota Utilities slogan, in the community to serve, goes beyond providing safe and reliable electric and natural gas service. MDU and our dedicated employees are committed to the communities they serve, work, and live, just like the dedicated area students and coaches are committed to having the best season possible. Best of luck for a successful season to all area teams from Montana Dakota Utilities, proud to sponsor the area youth. The sun always rises, your dog will always love you, and the tax man always shows up. Certain things in life are always reliable, so when you're ready to talk about life insurance, contact your dependable State Farm agent. After all, you might already count on State Farm to insure your car, and your life insurance is one of the things that matters most. Plus, there might be even more ways to save on your car insurance. See Doug Heil, your State Farm agent in Mobridge, or call 845-3603. Well, we put the final eight minutes up there on the clock. It is fourth quarter action here from Mobridge Pollock High School where the Tigers lead over the Chamberlain Cubs 51-26. Chamberlain's going to get the ball to start first. Running horse. Looks across the lane. Now give it up. Gillickson instead on the wing. Down in the corner. Running horse. A step back three. No good. Rebound is going to be brought down by Halsey. Give it off to Fireheisen. Fireheisen playing point guard out of the backcourt. Now across the time stripe. Actually gave it off to Bryston Gearing. Gearing looks over and it's going to be way out there. And Eisenman's got it. Eisenman now on the block. Give it off to Fireheisen. Back out to Eisenman. Eisenman goes on the baseline drive. Now Fireheisen. Pump fake now goes up and good. And he's going to go to the line. Fireheisen with his third basket of the ball game and a chance for a three-point play. Foul this time is going to go against Jazz Dominguez, and that'll be his first. Six-team foul against the Cubs. Next foul committed by them. Mobridge Pollock will be shooting the rest of the game. One shot coming up, one shot only here for Noah Fireheisen. His seventh appearance at the stripe. It's no good. Halsey with a rebound. Give it out to Eisenman. Eisenman just off the top of the key now. Bryston Gehring. Bryston Gehring waiting for somebody to pop through. Here's Eisenman right side. Three-pointer turnaround. And boom right there. Caden Eisenman from the deep wing. And it's 56 now to 26. A 30-point lead. Which means that the South Dakota High School Activities Association mercy rule should be in effect now. The clock should run now. As they get to 30. But there was a foul in the backcourt. And Gehring. Gehring will pick up his third. Here come the Cubs. Top of the key. Dominguez. Now Preeb in the corner. It comes running horse. Running horse. Dribble drive. Back out. It comes to Preeb. Preeb is going to be fouled. Out top. And Bryston Gehring gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar. That is number four. Noah Freed will check into the lineup for Gehring. Gehring will sit down with the four fouls. And Chamberlain is going to inbound in front of their own bench. Inbounds comes in to Preeb. Preeb looks out to the right side now. Give it off there. And it's going to be running bear. Running a horse, I'm sorry. Running horse will give it off. And it's Caldwell. Back over on the other side. Running horse will stop and pop. 15-footer right there. 56-28 now. And it's 5.50 left here in the ball game. Eisenman now. Looks on the left side. Give it off to Free. Noah on the dribble. And Noah's going to be fouled out front. Noah's going to the charity strike. And for Drayton Free, that is number four on him. Keshami Thai will check back into the lineup. And sitting down is going to be Jazz Dominguez. So coming up there, Noah Freed with two, well, one and one actually. First one on its way, in and out, no good. Rebound is going to be tipped and last touch by Mobridge Pollock on the way out of bounds. Jalen Hitlin will check into the lineup. Coming out is going to be Noah Fireheisen. 56-28 with 5.18 left here 
in the basketball game. Long down court pass. Now inside it comes. The ball is going to be stolen away. And Eisenman didn't have control. He'll pull it up. Now give it off to Halsey. Halsey. Give it off to Eisenman. Now here's Freed for three. Up no good. Fight for the rebound. And it's going to be pulled down by the Cubs. Here comes Caldwell. Back the other way. Caldwell up off the window. Good. Noah Freed coming out of the backcourt with it. Give it off to Eisenman. Eisenman cross the stripe. Now Freed. Freed is looking for some help inside. Not much there. He'll go from right to left around the perimeter. Now in it comes to Hitland. Hitland, little fadeaway. Up, no good. Rebound comes out to Running Horse. Up ahead now to Caldwell. Caldwell is going to go to the basket, and it's going to be no good. Fight for the rebound, and it's going to be Trey Cerny. Up ahead it comes down to Noah Free. Nice pass. A fake. And Dugan at the basket but right there. Trey Cerny with the putback. 4-9 left here in the basketball game. 58-30 our score right now. Whistle on the play as they get the ball into the high post. And this one's going to go this time against Jalen Hitlin, and that'll be his first. Running Horse and Gillickson are going to come out of the lineup. Salik McManus is going to come back in. And I didn't catch the number of the other person. Oh, here we go. It's Marty Ross back in there. Preeb now. Give it off. And McManus. Cross-court pass comes. And it is going to be in the hands of Caldwell. Now Preeb. Three-pointer right there. Boom. Drayton Preeb with his second basket of the ball game, And it's a big one. 58-33 now. 3.15 left here in the ball game. Way, way out up on top. It's Trey Cerny now. Eisenman in the corner. Eisenman looks in and give it off there. It's going to be Hitland. Hitland back out and Noah Freed. Freed back out and Cerny will give it off to Eisenman. Eisenman drops it into Hitland. Hitland will come up off the front edge. No good. Rebound comes out to Ross. Ross wants to push it. Pushes it all the way into the wing spot. Now give it off to Thigh. Now here's Ross. Back to Thigh. Now Caldwell. And Freed almost had the ball. Give it off the other side. Preeb now will go on to the dribble drive. Nice pass out. And up for the basket is Kashami Ha Thigh. Here come the Tigers back the other way. 58 35. They are going to improve to 8-6 and six on the season with this win and a region win at that. Noah Freed give it off and now Eisenman's got it. He'll stop and pop. Just a little 10-footer, no problem, he says. Puts it up in good. 60-35, 2-0-3 left here in the ballgame. Tigers on top. Here's five for three right there. Now all of a sudden they come to life. And maybe too little too late. This is a 30-second timeout for substitutions, but we are going to break away for 30 seconds. 60-35 our score right now. Mubridge Pollock on top. 155 left here in the ballgame. Back in 30, star 99. Best wishes to the Mobridge Pollock Tigers in today's contest from the Family Worship Center. Athletics have much they can teach us about how to compete well on the court, the mats, or the field. Hard work, camaraderie, personal and team development, determination, and fair play are but a few of the lessons that apply not only to sports, but to life. At the Family Worship Center, we desire to connect important values such as these with biblical truth in a way that encourages strong personal growth, strong families, and a strong faith. The Family Worship Center is a proud sponsor of Tiger Athletics. So a win 55 left here in the ball game. It's a running clock right now, and a uh, uh, mass substitution. Hitlin stays in the lineup, but both the uh, Reinert boys come in, Zane and Gavin. Inbounds is going to be knocked around and stolen away. Hayden Evans picks it up and puts it in. Out of the backcourt, this is Gavin Reinert with a long pass. Give it off to Noah Free. He will stop and pop 15-footer, no good. Rebound comes out this time to Preeb. Down court it comes, and, uh, well, a big travel that time by Selig McManus. Puts it up off the window and good. Timeout called. I don't know. They're going to call the timeout. Yeah, it's going to be a 30-second timeout by the Chamberlain bench. 
132 left here in the ballgame. 60-42. Moverage Pollock on top. Back in 30. Star 99. Great Western Bank in Moverage is providing a full range of financial services to its personal and business banking customers. Wherever you are in life, we have a wide range of products and services to help you along the way. From everyday banking needs to the financial tools to help you plan for tomorrow. We are always trying to find a better rate, better option, and a better solution for you. This is Misty Helm, branch manager at Great Western Bank in Moverage, doing what it takes to make your life great. Great Western Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Moverage Pollock to inbound, coming out of the timeout, all kinds of pressure in the backcourt, and it's going to come in this time to Zane Reiner, out to Eisenman now. Eisenman with a bullet pass down in the corner. A little bit out of the reach of Gavin Reinert. And so the turnover. And the Chamberlain Cubs coming back the other way. Caldwell, top of the key. Goes inside. Now give it off to Prave. Here's Evans. Evans three-pointer right there. Aiden Evans. And it's 60-45 now with 115 left in the ball game. And another timeout by the Chamberlain Bench. We'll be back in 60 seconds, star 99. Kick off 2019 by kicking your high-cost TV bills. Cut the cable cord, dump the dish, and start streaming with WRT. Enjoy watching what you want, when you want, with WRT Wi-Fi. Get started with a $50 gift card for Sling TV, Netflix, or Hulu from WRT. Yours free when you sign up for WRT Wi-Fi, increase your speed, and or drop your landline phone. Call WRT at 845-3100 to save money and stream in 2019. Isn't it great when things are even better than you expect? Like arriving late for the game to watch your favorite player, the stands are packed, and then finding your favorite seat is still open. Or how about filling your tank with top-tier detergent gasoline at Gas and Goodies with their brand new pumps. Cenex top-tier detergent has two and a half times more detergent than regular fuel. So it cleans your engine as it runs for less buildup, less maintenance, and more worry-free miles to follow your team. Good luck, Mobridge Pollock from Cenex Gas and Goodies in Mobridge. Well, welcome back here. Uh, they took a full timeout, but only 30 seconds of it. So Marbridge Pollock back to work, and the Gehring boys back in the lineup. Braden and Bryston. Bryston's got it top of the key. Way out there, six seconds on the shot clock. Here is Eisenman. Now give it off, and it's Braden Gehring. They'll throw one hard off the glass, and it did not hit the rim, and so that is a shot clock violation against Marbridge Pollock. Just a big game of keep away right there. And Chamberlain will inbound out of the backcourt. It's going to be into the hands of Caldwell. Caldwell looks to Evans. Now Preeb in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. And it's going to be long. No good. Hitland right there with the rebound. And Hitland is going to be tied up. Possession arrow belongs to Mobridge Pollock. 27 seconds on the clock. 60-45. And the Tigers are going to go on to win it here tonight. Inbounds and a foul right away. And I think that's it. Oh, actually, that's Marty Ross with the foul. That is only his third. Drayton Preeb has four, but he's sitting on the bench right now. So down the other end we go, and Braden Gearing will step up to the charity stripe. He'll have uh, the one and one. Got to hit the first one to get to the second one. On its way, right there. 61-45. 26 seconds left in the ball game. Again, the Tigers looking like it'll take a miracle for them not to win. Spins the ball in his hands, puts it on its way. It's right there as well. So, Braden Gearing gets both sides, and it's 62-45. Here come the Cubs in a hurry. Now Ross. Ross will stop and pop. 15-footer, no good. Rebound to Noah Freed. Give it off, and Noah Freed will give it into the hands. This time of Braden Gehring. Bryston's got it now. Eight seconds. Bryston will go on the dribble a couple of times, and he can just hang on to it now. Give it off to Braden Gehring. Final score here is going to be Tigers 62 and Cubs 45. On your Vision Care Associates scoreboard. Stick around. We're going to take a quick two minute break. We'll wrap it all up when we come back right here on Star 99. 
twice a year, you owe it to yourself to get a checkup because you were only given one set of teeth to work with. After that, it's too late to say I should have cared for them better. McQuillan Swanson Dental will help you get the most from your teeth and gums. So for everything from a simple checkup to a wide variety of services, trust McQuillan Swanson Dental. McQuillan Swanson Dental of Mulbridge, healthy smiles for life. Winter weather is hard on your paint and underbody of your vehicle. At Oahe Car Wash in Mulbridge, we want to help you take care of your vehicle with our new automatic car wash bays on West Grand Crossing. Choose from our touchless or soft touch wash to make your vehicle look great both underneath and outside. Keeping your car clean helps prolong the value too. Oahe Car Wash is proud to sponsor this sports broadcast and grateful we can serve you. At the Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics, your health is our number one priority. If you need medical care, then trust our team. Dr. Donald Lusick, surgeon, and Dr. Travis Henderson and Dr. Josh Henderson in internal medicine. For family and women's health, including OB, you can trust Dr. Robert Marciano, Dr. Matt Schaefer, Dr. Emily Bowden, Heather Olson, Leslie Graff, Karen Freeling, Candida Gehring, Jesse Norder, and Dory Voidy. Good luck, team, in the game from our team to yours at Mulbridge Regional Hospital and Clinics. Dad, how many generations has Jensen Rock and Sand been through? We are now in our fourth generation of serving Mulbridge and the surrounding area with quality products and services. Wow, that's a long time. Why do you think Jensen Rock and Sand has stood the test of time? We care about our customers and their needs. Whether it's commercial, residential, or agricultural projects, we have the goods and services to take care of them. Let our family serve yours at Jensen Rock and Sand of Mulbridge. Hey, welcome back here. Final score once again, 62-45, Mulbridge Pollock. They improved their season record to 8-6 and six after this win here tonight. More importantly, a Region 6A win as the Tigers uh, play more and more region competition and H1 gets more and more, more and more important. And so tonight, a big win for the Tiger boys. Let's uh, take a look at the individual scoring. First of all, for the Cubs tonight, Brent Gillickson ended up with eight points, eight points for Louis Running Horse, six each for Cameron Caldwell and uh, Drayton Preeb, five points for Hayden Evans, and uh, uh, well, that's ten points for Kashami Thai and two points for Selick McManus. The other side of the ball, Braxton Albers tonight ended up with 14 points, two for Trey Cerny, eight points for Noah Feierheisen, 13 A each for Bryston Gehring and Braden Gehring, seven points for Caden Halsey, and five points for uh, Caden Eisenman. And, uh, well, we got to pick a Merkel's Foods player of the game. So we're going to hear right now from Merkel's Foods. We will come back with the player of the game right after this message on Star 99. Hi, this is Brian and Kristen from Merkel's Foods in Mulbridge. Are you struggling to find time to do your grocery shopping? Shop all our aisles and weekly specials online at MerkelsFoodsOnline.com. Save time and skip the line. Shop online quickly for what you need today or load up your cart and check out at the end of the week. Then pay online, give us a time, and we will bring it out to the parking lot. We don't want you to miss a thing. Shop MerkelsFoodsOnline.com. I think we're going to give the player of the game tonight to the player that knew exactly how important this game was here. I talked to him before the game, and Braxton Albers knew coming in tonight, this was a very important game, a region game, and uh, that's why he came out here tonight and played uh, four quarters of really good basketball, ended up with 14 points, hit some big threes down the stretch to give his team a chance to uh, get the win here tonight. So. Congratulations, Braxton Alberts. You are the Merkel's Foods player of the game. And on your Vision Care Associates scoreboard earlier on, the Lady Cubs defeated the Lady Tigers, and the score is an indicative of how good a game that was. But the final was 50-37. to 37. Cubs come up with a win there. Mulbridge Pollock drops to 5-10 and 10 on the season. And again, the Vision Care Associates scoreboard 
At the end of this one, it's uh, Marbridge Pollock Tigers 62 and the Chamberlain Cubs 45. Hey, we got a lot of people to say thank you to. In fact, I want to say thank you to Shane Henderson tonight. He did the filming for me. I really appreciate that. Also, the good people at Great Western Bank, West River Telecommunications, Gas and Goodies, McClellan's Swanson Dental Office, Hawaii Car Wash, Mulberry's Regional Hospital and Clinics, Jensen Rock and Sam, Lucky's Gas and More, Montana Dakota Utilities, State Farm and your State Farm agent, Doug Heil, Family Worship. Also, the Lama Court tonight brought to you by the South Dakota Attorney General's Office, Division of Consumer Protection. Keys to Success tonight brought to you by Key Insurance. Player of the Game brought to you by Merkel's Foods. And the scoreboard all night long brought to you by Vision Care Associates. On your way home from the game, the South Dakota Office of Highway Safety reminds you, snow means slow. Drive for conditions. For Mary Schreier, back in the studio. For Shane Henderson, I'm Andy Shue. Good night.